Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Francesco Burzotta from Rome, Italy, and I will speak on Resolute Onyx for left main and bifurcation stenting. These are my conflicts of interest disclosure. And I would like to start questioning which stent is ideal for bifurcations. So on historical perspective, these are the John Ormiston's bench tests the way to, to, to compare the suitability of the driver stent was just to perform ballooning across them. So uh, is maximum side cell size the only stent characteristic influencing bifurcation interventions? For sure it is not. So uh, in 2014, there was the Onyx European launch and I had the pleasure to perform the first bench test in my CAT lab showing the impact of the selection of the stem platform in the main vessel and the rewiring side to the final conformation of the onyx stand. So now in 2021, we have many updates regarding onyx for unprotected left main and bifurcation PCI, and we will review them together. This is uh, the onyx stent uh, design. We have this sinusoid formed wire that uh, with laser fused uh, struts that creates a unique stand, drag and routine stent platform. And uh, if we look at the bifurcation stenting, the, what we most of the time do is just to implant starting by implanting the stenting crossover across the uh, side branch takeoff and most of the time there is a bending so that this uh, aspect of the onyx may really uh, facilitate the allocation of the left hand cross. Then uh, for the main vessel, uh, what is recommended by EBC sizing according to the distal reference. And uh, we should then adjust the uh, proximal part with the POT according to the proximal main vessel. If we look at uh, the different uh, stands by different manufacturers, uh, the Resultonics has the unique features of having four different sizes with the specific structure. And here there, there, there is the, uh, the chart. I like very much the idea of calling uh, those different platforms as a small, medium, large, and extra large, like the T-shirt. And uh, in the perspective of the investor treatment, what is important is the fact that with the two we may reach 3.5. With the 2.75 by POT, we have four. With the 3.5, we may reach 5.0. And with the 4.5, we may reach 6.0. So really incredible way to adapt perfectly the, our drug routine stand to the different uh, size of the main vessel. Other aspect is, the, is for sure the side branch management. Uh, the stents may jail the side branch in different way. This is the way by, done by the Onyx platform. And uh, uh, after the ballooning, we may have this uh, fantastic opening. Uh, how uh, great is uh, the, uh, this opening? Well, uh, this is the maximum side branch diameter expansion. So really huge side branch can be treated uh, by perfect uh, stent struts and this is the final aspect that we may have with the pot, uh, with the, the kissing balloon and the DPOT. This is a bench test and uh, looking at the clinical practice, we know that uh, bifurcation can be treated both by implanting the stent in the main vessel, so this is provisional pot, this is requiring a DPOT, but also sometimes by inverted provisional, by implanting the stent from the main vessel toward the side branch. And this is the fantastic adaptation of the onyx stand documented into the visible art. Uh, other aspect is the fact that uh, the, uh, the particularity of uh, this uh, stand is uh, its round shape, and uh, uh, this may influence the crossing. And uh, uh, this is a bench test showing how 
it is uh, for sure more easy to advance balloon across the uh, side branch when you have round rounds. Other aspect is uh, the uh, platinum rhythm uh, core that may increase the visibility. Very important point when we have to add a side, uh, a side for the side branch. Final remark regarding the side, the uh, left main. We know that osteum is very stiff uh, tissue, very uh, in a, a particular aortic tissue. So compression resistance should be adapted. And you see that there was an improvement over time from resolute integrity to the only large. And uh, also, since there can be interaction with the guiding catheter, there is also multiple links here that may reduce longitudinal compression chances. And this is the final appearance we may hope to have into, the, um, into our patients and as practice in the visible art. Thank you for your attention.